There's a whole bunch of news today coming for Microsoft Flight Simulator, some of this for PC and of course much of it for the Xbox as well. The Xbox version now has its release date set for the 27th of July. The sim will be coming to the Xbox Series X as well as the Xbox Series S. Additionally, there's also confirmation that Jet Fighter is making its way to Microsoft Flight Simulator as an official update. Now on screen, you can see the brand new trailer. This is for the Xbox version, I dare say, as soon as this is the Xbox announcements, uh, announcements trailer. And as you can see, the graphics are nothing short of amazing. There's also a bunch of new features here that appear to be in the, uh, in the, in the video including, yes, splashdown effects, both on the water as well as on the ground, as well as some rather great-looking reflections that we should be able to see in just a moment. And you may have noticed those right at the start of the video, and we'll see that just right here. So you can see some rather great-looking reflections on the fuselage as well as the uh, tail of the plane there. And of course, we also saw some great reflections in the water as the plane passed under the bridge, and we will return to that in just a moment for a few uh, freeze frames. And as we continue to go through this trailer, do keep an eye on the reflections again. You could see them there in the city. Now what this is suggesting to me, again, you'll see it just here on the fuselage underneath it and the undercarriage. Look at the greenish colours there reflected from the island. What this suggests to me is the potential for ray tracing. Either that, or they've got some rather great looking baked in reflections on the go. But yeah, if I was willing to bet, I'd go with the ray tracing coming there. And here's that date, 27th of July, 2021, so a little over a month away, month and a half. The second thing that's really interesting, and I think is going to excite a lot of people, is the tie-in of an expansion to Top Gun 2. This, we'll finally see jet fighters making their way into the game. Maybe more than one, there's a quick sneak peek of a, another plane here. In just a moment, we'll see it pass overhead, and again, we will freeze-frame these. So one of the issues currently with Microsoft Flight Simulator and Jet Fighters is the inability to exceed Mark 1. Is this something that's going to be fixed or improved for this release? Well, I'd say that's very, very likely as Jet Fighters that can't exceed Mark 1 would seem, well, a little on the uh, disappointing side to say the least. The Maverick expansion is set to arrive in November, towards the end of the year then. So let's have another look through this uh, trailer here, just to get a bit of an idea of some of the things we might have missed. And I'm going to reverse the footage there. Uh, basically, because I want to have a look at the first of the reflections we get to see. So what we're seeing here isn't too different from the reflections we have in the sim right now. So feel free to correct me if you feel I'm wrong further into this video when I point out the other reflections that we see in just a moment. And let's skip ahead to those. So, to me at least, the reflections that we're seeing right here are vastly better than what we've got in the sim right now. But of course, if you feel I'm wrong on that, do let me know in the comments section. I'd love to hear your opinion. Do you think this is possibly ray tracing? The Xbox Series X and Series S are both capable of ray tracing. Uh, Sobo have also confirmed that ray tracing is coming to Microsoft Flight Simulator at a future date. Could this be that date? Let me know what you think. So something else that's been missing from the sim from day one are the touchdown and splashdown effects. So we only get a very brief glimpse of them here in this trailer and of course the uh, auto masking effects on that particular area are very noticeable. So the interaction with the ground elements there are a nice addition for sure. Now another thing that's well worth pointing out is that Nasobo have said more than once that when the Xbox version of Flight Simulator releases, the PC version will be upgraded to DirectX 12. Now, we haven't had any official word on when that date is going to happen, the DirectX 12 update that is, but if Asobo are still planning on releasing the Xbox version and the PC upgrade side by side, then the 27th of July would certainly fit. After all, Sim Update 5 is scheduled for July as well. On another note, on the Xbox version right here, it will be available on the Xbox Game Pass, and apparently it's already available for preload. Finally, the Top Gun Maverick update is going to be a free expansion for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Very much looking forward to trying out the Super Hornet, as well as the challenge of taking off and landing on the aircraft carriers. And of course, a hint here about a potential another plane as well. Let me know what you think about that particular plane in the comments section below. There we go. So that brings us to an end of this video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.